Welcome back. So we have another box of 2020 Topps Heritage Baseball. This will be my second box. The first one we actually, there's no big hits, but we did rather well with just the short prints that we pulled and our scratch off was the Acuna. Um, so that was pretty good for one of these blasters. And of course, I dropped the darn thing on the ground. Which happens. Fortunately, everything is all good. As some of you may have noticed, this is a different table. It is still wood, but it is a different table. Since I had to move my card space, uh, with now the house being taken up by three all day long, rather than just me working from home. But, that's neither here nor there. Let's look at some cards. So starting off with a Taylor Rogers. It's an exciting start, isn't it? Okay. So not much in there. And this is our just straight up base pack. Unless there's a different number, which I will check later. For variations, color swaps, whatever. Whatever the heck is going on. I know some of them, I don't know if all of them, they mark on the back now. A good old Mikey. And Mikey is a short print. Or a high number, whatever you want to call it. Just straight up uh, high number. High number short print. Whatever. Mike Freeman. Not Freddy. Lord Escoriano. Austin Meadows, New Age Performer. Sabathia. Severino. Ahmed Rosario. Anything in here? Rosario, for some reason, seems like it's an action variation. I thought those were. It is not. There's another pack of nothing in there that I caught anyway. Be interesting to see what happens with these cards moving forward to this, this particular design. The 71 design is notorious for being absolutely atrocious when it comes to grading. Jacob deGrom, that's a high number. And Kinsler. Got three more packs to go. Soto high number. So I'm basically pulling all the high numbers, which is quite nice. All the good high numbers, I should say. Two blaster boxes. Pulled a lot of big name high numbers, so it's always good. And the last pack should have our scratch off. And it does. Brian Anderson for the Marlins. OK. 
Okay, so still kind of coming up short on the big rookies here. But let's go over to Scratch Off, it's a little lackluster. Did get our one maze card, which is nice. Soto, high number, short print, whatever you'll call it. Bradley, rookie. Jacob DeGrom, short print. Austin Meadows, and Mikey Stromsky, short print. So that's kind of what we have this time around. Again, haven't really pulled anything huge out of uh, Heritage, and rarely have I ever done so. But it's still nice looking product. Um, but I think what will always be the criticism of this product um, until they change it, until Tops changes it, is it's a little lackluster when it comes to uh, hits. Now, this is a blaster box, so it's a different scenario. When it comes to hobby, there should be more than one hit per box. But that's the break for you this time around. I thank you very much for joining me. And please remember to collect what you enjoy. Enjoy what you collect. And don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. Most importantly, have fun. It's a tremendous hobby if you put forth the effort. So figure out how you can contribute, whether it's making videos, watching, commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it, both in or in, with a combination of knowledge of being able to grow your PC through multiple means, in meeting new people and making some great, great friends. It is well worth the effort to be active in this community. So until next time, I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.